Boys and girls, ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we're going to keep this one fairly short and sweet, hopefully. I know I'm a bit guilty of talking too long sometimes. But today, we have got the kickoff multi pack for the Panini England 2024 Dren XL trading card collection. We have already done the starter pack for this collection, and although this kickoff multi pack did come out a while ago, who knows? Something special could happen today. That could be a real life autograph. Very, very unlikely. I've never, ever done it before uh, from a Panini product, uh, but who knows? Uh, even a printed version would be absolutely lovely. So, without further ado, let's have a quick look. Here's a look at the different limited editions you can get. I believe it has a printed one as well. But of course, uh, the only thing that doesn't make this the most exciting opening in the world is, of course, that the kickoff multi pack does only include a select mix of cards. But for four ninety nine for a multi pack with a limited edition and five packets, you can't really go wrong. Plus, you do need it, of course, to get that all important Harry Kane for your collection. If you want to complete the limited editions, you're going to have to get your hands on this because he will not come in any of the other products. Hence why I'm here opening it. And if we do get it printed, or the very, very unlikely chance of a real auto, then of course I'm going to go have to have to, I'm going to, I'm going to have to go buy another one. But there, got there in the end. So we have five packets. We will whiz through them because as you can see from the packets, this is just a preview mix of cards. But where, as I said in my starter pack opening, well done Panini for making these collectible for all ages. Six cards per pack, one pound a packet, uh, helps make it collectible for all ages. Um, I love the Tops products. I think the match tax recently have been pretty pretty good especially the 23 24 season but having to pay two pound 50 for a pack uh is really really steep uh, and there's a lot of youngsters out there that can't afford that uh which is really sad anyway we start off with alan shearer legend that is a really good start started off with a legend in my last opening for the starter pack uh because obviously their uh preview packed as well so that is really nice after that we have a goal machine another one of those cards that's like the flying fallbacks is uh not a shiny but we do have a double ollie watkins fantastic stuff after that we have leon Goretzka, we have julian brandt and we have olivier Giroud there who is of course moving over to la in the summer uh, after a really good career in europe what a fantastic player uh, scored some absolutely phenomenal goals in his time after that we have aerial ace john stones there Gonna have to hope he is nice and fit and healthy for the World Cup. Brian Crescente, Kylian Mbappe. Wow, lovely card, lovely, lovely stuff. 248 total for a base card. Awesome stuff. Francesco Acrabi, Kirby, I've messed that up. Destiny Adogi, um, very nice. I, I think I bigged up Mbappe too much because they have the exact same total. Wow. Giving him back in the dust post all round. Yeah, we won't go into detail. And we finish on a Jack Grealish there. Uh, always a very collectible geezer. Whether it's because of his football ability, the way he looks, who knows. But on his day, he can be a very good player. After that, we have another legend. This one, this one is John Terry. Very, very nice. After that, we have an Adrenaline Rush, a Bakayo Saka. That's a nice looking card. Uh, we then have a Jean Claire to, to, a Tobi, Todibo. Uh, I believe of Nice, he's uh, attracting a bit of attention uh, from Premier League clubs. We then have a Dukshk. Uh, after that, we have two, yes, two cards flipped around. First one being Sam Johnston, and the second one being Jesus Navas there. Uh, so unlike previous Panini collections, they're not filling the packs with shinies. Is this because it's a preview one? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but here we go. We do have our very first visionary. That is very, very nice looking. Liking some of the designs a hell of a lot. We then have a Declan Rice Adrenaline Rush. Uh, but that's what I mean. I know that's sort of um, maybe a bit better of an insert than the base. Uh, but I definitely don't feel like, uh, you know, in this collection thus far, that there's as many shinies because... 
last time in the Panini Premier League Adrenaline XL 23-24 collection, there were some of the foil cards that I had like eight or nine times, which was just crazy. Uh, but we have Bryce Samba, Ilkay Gundogan, uh, and then we have Unai Simon and Jordan Henderson there. So just one more pack before we can have a look inside our limited edition pack at those new sideways limited editions. So we're going to start off there with our showcase Mark Guy. I believe there's like 26 of these to get. And if you're only going to get one per pack, it's going to be a fairly tough set to complete, actually. Um, which, as I say, is quite rare. Panini shiny sets are usually fairly uh, straightforward to complete. But we do have a Marcus Tram goal machine. Uh, Jorginho. Mark and uh, to Stegen. And then again, turning around a couple of cards. Where we've got a Martin Zubamendi and an Alessandro Bastoni there. Uh, of Italy. So some very nice cards, two very nice legends. My first look at one of those visionary cards as well because I have only opened the starter pack. So not too bad. But to finish off this video, we are going to have a look inside and see which Harry Kane we have got. I've got to be honest, I bigged it up at the start of the video. I, I, I think it's just going to be the normal one. Uh, but look, Look, we we got a dream, otherwise where's the fun in it? So which way is it? I think it gives it a wave away, so we'll just pull it out. Um, you know, the suspense is nice, but I don't think it quite works when the name of the limited edition is on the back of the card as well. So three, two, one, it's this way up. It is a regular Harry Kane. Not too bad. Very, very nice. At the end of the day. As much as it isn't the exciting ones, we'd all want like the printed or the auto. It is 100% needed if I want it for my, uh, if I want to complete my collection. So there you go. Harry Kane limited edition, I must say as well, very, very smart looking limited edition. Uh, really, really like that. So we'll just leave him there for now. So there you go. There is a uh, starter pack. I've mentioned the starter pack opening so many times. You can watch it on my channel, by the way. But that is the kickoff multi-pack opening. Hope you did enjoy. For more products from this collection and many others, please do check out my channel. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos. And until the next one, bye.